Now, if I want to go ride a, ride a bike this uh -huh. afternoon, go running this afternoon, am I going to get away with this? Or uh, am you I get you may get a few raindrops. You're probably going to want to be prepared for the heat as well. Make sure you have plenty of water with you, Alan. It is a toasty day for us. Not quite as warm technically as we were over the weekend. And you know, August is supposed to be a little bit cooler than July. July, July is our hottest month of the year. But so far, August has been just as hot, if not hotter, than we were throughout much of July. 85 degrees right now as we look live toward Elidge Gardens. Not a cloud in the sky uh, over lower downtown right now. 89 degrees, our normal high temperature this week. Last week, the normal high was 90. So again, we're coming off of what is usually the hottest time of the year. That has passed, but of course, Mother Nature can do whatever it wants. And over the weekend, we had 94 on Saturday, 95 yesterday. Today, at least 90 for a high temperature. So yeah, not as hot as it was over the weekend, but still toasty. Tomorrow's 93 and then Wednesday 92 for a high temperature elsewhere around the state plan on 70s and 80s today in the mountains and almost completely dry in the high country. Very few thunderstorms in the mountains for today. 80s and 90s out west and 80s and a few 90s on the eastern plains. 96 at Lamar 87 out in Burlington this afternoon. Satellite and radar together here. We had some clouds earlier. You can see those this morning and then the cloud cover has been moving out to the east. Right now we're mostly clear throughout much of the state. There is a cold front north north of us. This would bring some big relief if we were actually able to make its way all the way through Colorado, but it's not going to be able to as it moves south over the next 24 to 36 hours or so. An area of high pressure that's over the panhandles of Texas and Oklahoma is going to block that front. So we dropped to 90 today, and that's pretty much the only relief from the heat that we get. If that front was able to make its way farther south, there'd be much more cooling to talk about. The front will stall out as it moves south and runs into that area of high pressure. That front will be the focus for showers and thunderstorms. So every day this week, we have a chance for storms. Better chances will come back at the end of the week as monsoon moisture continues to come into the state. For today, most of us have a 30% chance for a thunderstorm or even a smaller chance. And as I mentioned, most mountain areas will actually end up being dry here this afternoon. 2, 3 p.m. will start a small chance for a thunderstorm around Denver, Boulder, or Fort Collins. Storm activity may largely skip right over the front range, but there is that chance. And then any storms that are out on the eastern plains this evening do have the potential of becoming stronger or severe. We've got a marginal threat for severe weather in the far northeast stretches of the state east of Fort Morgan through Sterling up toward Julesburg, Logan County, down into uh, places like Ray, Holyoke, Akron, any of those areas. There could maybe be a storm or two that has some hail or some wind, but a much more significant severe weather threat over here in that area shaded in orange. Iowa, Minnesota, much of Wisconsin, much bigger concerns for severe weather over there. 90 for our high temperature here today, 93 tomorrow, 92 on Wednesday. You can see the higher storm chances coming back at the end of the week, Alan. 40% chance on Thursday, same thing on Friday. Always more difficult to warm up air that has a lot of moisture in it compared to drier air. So we'll keep us in the 80s for Thursday, Friday. The upcoming weekend, close to 90 on Saturday, 40% chance for late day storms. And we'll do it again on Sunday. Very August-like looking at that extended <laughs> forecast. Okay, Ashton, thanks. It's a lot. still summer. Things are getting a little bit more colorful in a